Hey guys, welcome to Webjeda. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, props or properties. Uh, props is uh, one of the ways to pass uh, data across uh, components. Um, and it can be done in only one way, which is from a parent to a child and to a grandchild. Uh, usually, you can pass to multiple uh, children or multiple grandchildren. Uh, in this video, I'll show you how this works. Let's consider uh, this app.svelte to be our uh, parent component. Uh, we'll uh, have a division here and then uh, we will style it. Uh, so div uh, the height and width uh, is not necessary. We're going to have children inside so they will have height and width. Uh, so that that way it's, that that should be enough so we'll have a padding though and then we'll have a border uh, something dark yeah I'm guessing that should be enough but whatever we place inside should be uh, properly centered okay so I'll have uh, Place item center. So we don't have anything in, inside yet, but we will have something. So this is the parent. Um, we'll create a child, or yeah, we'll create a child. Uh, let this child be a div again. Uh, yeah, this can be styled. Let's style the child. Um, let it be different than the parent so that we can see um, the difference okay I'll have a border topics let it be dashed and a little lighter um, I have to give a height uh, 200 pixels uh, width of 200 yeah so it's not showing up on the right side because uh, we haven't used or imported the child so let me import it from uh, dot slash child dot swell now once we have it imported we can use it like this and we have it okay um, once that is there we'll have a, a grandchild here this has to be capital okay now that will also have a division and we'll style it Uh, this one, let it be a uh, circle uh, with the 50 pixels, height of 50 pixels as a background color of uh, something uh, like maybe red, border radius of 100%. Uh, this should create a circle, but it's not showing up because uh, we haven't imported that uh, anywhere. Uh, this time we'll import it to the child, not to the app, which is our parent. So we'll import it here. From dot slash grandchild all right so we can use it oh maybe this is small uh, invalid url what is it child from oh, okay the extension isn't there Okay, so uh, I think 
for the child as well we need uh, to place it in the middle so we'll have this style okay so uh, as we can see the circle is a is a grandchild the outer dashed uh, box is child and the outer box which is uh, solid is, is the parent now we are passing uh, we're gonna pass props uh, from the parent to the uh, child or to the grandchild now the prop we want is the color uh, that we want to change now here background color is red I'm gonna remove that I want to apply it in a JavaScript way so we can do that like this Um, okay that works now I will uh, create a variable called color um, okay let's see equals red now I can use this variable in here um, it's easy just have it in um, have it in curly braces that should work uh, now it is red if I change it to like blue it changes but let's have it as red uh, for the time being now we can um, get this color from the from its parent which is the child this is grandchild its parent will be child so here what we can do is uh, we can uh, let color uh, equals blue okay so there's a blue color we are passing and we can pass that to the grandchild this way color equals color I mean you can actually avoid it by just just having it as color but I'm gonna show you the full thing here uh, we are passing this color to grandchild and how do we receive it here by uh, calling this way export let color and you can remove that right there now you see that the circle is blue and why do we use export so shouldn't it be like import uh, yeah th this can be a little confusing for beginners but uh, what I do is the way I remember this is that you know you are uh, let the color uh, you're saying that let the color be exported uh, from the parent to here and uh, that's how I read it so we are letting the color to be exported from the parent to this child so that's from uh, this child to grandchild now what if we want it in uh, want it from the parent to grandchild right so we do the same thing here let color um, equals uh, this time we'll have it as green right let color equals green and we pass it here uh, the same way color equals color um, that is passed to the child but to receive that we have to have export let color this blue thing is not even needed now now the color the grandchild is getting from the grandparent right now uh, we can check that and we can see if it is um, working uh, properly or working in sync uh, by maybe having a having an input here um, let's let's see uh, we'll bind the value of this input to color and yeah that should be enough now we have uh, green here because color is green so let's imagine we change it so remember we are doing this in the you know parent or the grandparent uh, of all these elements uh, of, of this grandchild where actually this circle is 
So here we can change it to uh, something like red and it will change in the grandchild. Uh, we can uh, change it to uh, something like a teal or something. Yeah, the color changes. So this is something cool. Uh, you can also have RGBA uh, values. Um, so if you remember them, you can uh, have them. If you don't, uh, that's fine. Um, yeah, so this is how uh, passing prop works. Uh, and you have to remember that it only happens in one way, as I explained in this image, uh, from parent to child to grandchild, not the other way around. If you want to do it the other way, from a child to the parent, you should go for a store. Uh, I think I have a video on that. You can check that out. Okay, so that, that, that should be enough. Uh, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.